Hey YouTube, this video will show you guys how to install the GNOME Classic Desktop Environment in Linux Mint 17.3, also known as GNOME Session Fallback. So it's uh, it's actually not uh, much work to do and to install it. It's quite simple. It's uh, a two-phased process. So you first you install it, then you log out, select the the new desktop environment, and then log back in. So let's get into it. Let's get started. Starting off, uh, I might get rid of this software updater that just popped up here. There we go. And we'll open up a terminal. So Control Alt T or just hit terminal on your most likely Cinnamon desktop environment. Now let's type in the following, which is sudo at install uh, gnome dash session dash fallback. Now let's hit enter on that one. Throw in your password. Actually, this is a different machine, just a smaller password here. And then let's get to install in. Hit yes or hit Y and enter to continue install in. And this should take a few minutes. I might end up pausing the video. So we'll just have a quick look. In session fallback, unpack in. Okay, yep. Yeah. So just give us a moment and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, installation complete, as you can see there, all done. So from this point, what we want to do is phase two, part two. So log out, select the new desktop environment, then log back in. So let's close out of that. Let's go to the start menu, move across to log out, log out. Now, as you can see, I'm running in a virtual machine here. It's the only way I can show you guys how to do this. And let's see, so click on my name there. We'll go to the little gear icon and we will see GNOME Classic. Uh, actually, GNOME Classic and Flashback. Okay, Compiz and Metacity. Don't worry too much about those ones. I've actually been installing a lot of stuff on here, but let's just stick to GNOME Classic as mentioned and throw in your password. Now, I've just got the, the one letter password on here, the one character password. As I said, just a virtual box. I would not recommend that kind of uh, password quality. And here we go, got the welcome screen still, as you can see. And there we go, so we've got basic GNOME Classic, as you've always wanted it, as you've always had it many, many years ago. Personally, I don't prefer it any longer. I, I held on to it maybe a bit longer than most, up until just a couple of years ago, but uh, it's, it's still simple and easy to use. It's great. It's sometimes what you want in a desktop environment. So cheers, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell.